Once, there was a girl who wanted a pet, but her mom wouldn't let her have one. So she brought home tumbleweeds and pretended they were horses. But her mom said they made the yard look ugly. I think I'm handsome. Then she tried collecting leaves and pretending they were puppies. But they got dry and brittle. And when she pet them, they crumbled to dust. So she decided to have a cloud for a pet. It would be soft and fluffy and cuddly, and it wouldn't junk up the yard. All she had to do was catch one. She tried using a net, but she couldn't reach high enough. She tried flying a kite with sticky glue on it, but no cloud stuck. Ah, oh, there's no way to end that story. The girl will never get a cloud. She'll be stuck with dried out tumbleweeds for the rest of her life. Morning, sleepyhead. The kitchen is not all unpacked yet, but I found the hot cocoa, and there's toast! If I drink this, will I wake up back in our old house? Who wants to go back there? Who wants to be the new kid in school? I do, it's great! No one knows who you are yet, so you get to be anybody, anybody you want to be. Lovely. Lovely. <sighs> The problem with moving is that you take yourself with you wherever you go. Maybe if I changed my hair, I'd feel like a new person. A sweet person. A strong person. A very damp person. You call me Spike. I am pizzazz. I said pizzazz, not pizza. Just forget it. That first day at school, everything looked different. And the same. The walls were painted that same refreshing pink as at my other school. The kids were strangers, but still familiar somehow. At least we hadn't moved to Mars. I started to look for Mr. Noodle's room, like Mom told me to. <gasps> Huh? Mm. Why, this must be the new girl. Oh, sugar, you're just in time for lunch. Our lunch, that is! <laughs> Amelia, we've been expecting you. Everyone, this is our new student, Amelia. Now, Amelia, I know it's not easy being the new kid, but we have a tradition to help new students feel more welcome here at Pioneer School. Ready, class? Ready! One, two, You're now an official member of the Noodleites, or Noodleonians, as you prefer. Here's your official uniform. Now that you're an old timer, you can help welcome the next new student. Nothing. Well, something. Who is 
that? That's my best... Well, <clears throat> she was my best friend, but she's already forgotten about me. I called the other day and she was too busy to come to the phone. That's too bad. Maybe she'll call back. Hey, that's Mr. Noodle, isn't it? You're good. Thanks. I love to draw, too. I'm pretty good, but not as good as I want to be. When I grow up, I want to be a real artist. Really? Yeah, I just got a new set of watercolors. Want to come over to my house tomorrow and try them out? That sounds great. Went to the store with Cleo. Back soon, love, Mum. <gasps> it's from Nadia! <sighs> of course, the phone's in her room already. It's Cleo City here. Hello? Hi, Amelia? Nadia? Amelia, my mom just told me you called yesterday. I'm sorry I missed you. Oh, that's okay. I wasn't worried. Good. I'm glad. I was busy looking for my pet snake. He got away, but I found him. Hey, did you get what I sent you? Yeah, uh, I did. Uh, thanks! I hope you like it. I really miss you. You do? You're not too busy with your new friends? Amelia, no one could ever replace you. Even if you make other friends? You'll still be my friend. No matter what. A new poster? I love it! Thanks. I'm glad you like it. You know, Nadia, I met a nice girl in my class. She could even help me color it in. Would you mind? Yeah, that'd be okay. Just save me part of the Golden Gate Bridge to do with you when I visit. Of course. Amelia, I really called to tell you how much I loved your Ghostfinger story. I never knew you could write such good stories. I never knew I could either. Hey, this poster will really make my room. Oh, you should see what Cleo's done in her room. So it turned out to be a good day after all. Nadia was still my friend. And Cleo, even Cleo has a good side. Sometimes. She bought me a new poster too. A picture of our new home. Now this is a little better than the couch, isn't it? It's not bad, Mom. I just might get used to it. Don't stay up too late. Tomorrow's another busy day. Sweet dreams. Good night. Now, about that cloud story. The little girl pretended that all the clouds were hers, and she kept them in the sky. Whenever she wanted one, she whistled and a cloud would cozy up for a pet and a cuddle. And when she had to move far away to a new city, a new school, a new house, the clouds came with her. They followed her wherever she went. It's too... too... quiet.